Hey everybody, Ann here, sitting in the tiny house, just finished my coffee. I've already let the chickens out in their yard. Um, last night, they, they I've just been keeping the chickens in their yard, um, but last night one of the chickens got out and I fixed the area where she got out, so hopefully they won't be able to do it again. But beauty, oh my gosh, that chicken is a brave chicken. So... Although I didn't capture all of it, I want to show you what happened with Beauty last night. I missed it, but Beauty killed a small snake. <laughs> killed a small snake. It was not a worm. It was a small snake, and she gobbled it all down. I cannot freaking believe it. My phone was so slow, I couldn't get the... I couldn't get it going in time. I can't freaking believe it. Is it still over there? No. She slurped it down like it was a noodle. So yesterday I was out foraging for my chickens and I had gathered a whole bunch of clover um, and the kids next door and mama from next door called out to me and said, we got, we got a prize for you. And I'm like, oh, is it a prize? What is it? And they said, it's not something to eat. And <laughs> and this kind of makes sense now because, well, um, so I went over there and the mama had a little tiny baby bunny in her hands that her puppies had been playing with. A little too rough, if you know what I mean. Um, it had a little bit of blood on it, like eyes, nose a little bit, just a teensy bit. And it looks like one of its legs maybe was broken. And... Um, I thought, you know, this, this thing needs to be euthanized, um, but, and I was going to do that, um, but they couldn't do it. They, they just couldn't do it. The kids were there, and so she gave the bunny to me, so I put some bedding in the, in the coop, in the chicken coop, in the nesting boxes, and put the little bunny down there, and um, hoped that it would make it overnight. Well, it did make it overnight, and um, so I'm going to show you this new cute little critter right now. All right, let's open this up. Oh goodness, look. I put it in this little corner last night and so it hopped down there. It was like in that corner and then I figured I'd put this little hutch thing that's got a door in it and I put it inside of there with some clover and now it's hopped out here. And it doesn't look like it's moving around too much, so I don't know. I'm gonna go go see if I can open the big door. You look like you're doing okay, but you look like you're scared. Look, sorry I can't get it any lighter in here. See, so yeah, I put this here and put it inside there, and it hopped out. Let me see if I can just hold it for you. Here's a sweet little guy. Yep, not moving around too much. So, I think it's the leg that's over here that may be broken. Can't really show you right now unless I put it in my lap and I'm standing up. But, I've been trying to show it where the water is. It's got some water down there, got some water up there. Um, I don't know if it's been eating, I think that it has. Because I had thrown some clover out in the middle. That's so blurry. I'm sorry, you guys. But it seems to be eating it, and then I threw some more there, so... I don't know. Maybe it will be okay, maybe it won't. I'm not sure. I just dipped its little mouth in the water, and it lapped up a little bit of water. I put him on this ramp, him or her, just to see if it'll move. I think it's scared, and it's just trying to be very, very still. I don't know. It's okay, sweet baby. It's okay. Well, I'll just keep watching. And, uh, hopefully it'll find food. I'm gonna go get it some more fresh clover, because this is all from last night. I just want to see it moving on its own, but I don't know if it'll do it while I'm here. So, I think what I'm gonna have to do is just basically leave it alone, check in on it, um, try and give it some water, and just let it get to know me a little bit at a time. It may be in shock, it may be, 
you know, who knows. Uh, but it's a wild animal, so of course it's not going to trust humans very much. So, I'm just going to kind of leave it be and see how it goes. Anyhow, I wanted to check these seeds that I started, see if anything is like trying to sprout up. Nothing is coming up. I think I may have some mint coming up. Not sure. It could be something else. Um, of course, I just planted the eggplant, so nothing's going to be coming up in that. Um, it doesn't look like anything is coming up in this, and there are green bell peppers, there's some um, jalapeno peppers, jumbo jalapeno peppers. None of them are coming up yet, but the tomatoes are coming up. This is, yeah, that's cayenne, that's cayenne, that's cayenne. Um, early girl tomato, yep, there's several coming up. Early girl tomatoes coming up, that's more cayenne. I think that's early girl Yep, uh, I think this is Early Girl, and it's got, there's some coming up there, and some coming up there. This is more Early Girl tomatoes, several coming up. I think this is beefsteak tomato, but I think that that is just grass, that one right there. I think that's grass and I think that's an actual tomato plant but because it's got a little seed on top of it so that's the old beefsteak tomatoes and it looks like they're coming up so I'm just gonna let these develop a little bit more um, before I pull them but I'm pretty sure that's just grass and that's just grass but this one coming up is coming out of seed and then another beefsteak tomato for sure that is one that's coming up and there's another little tiny one coming up right here so so far, all that's coming up is the tomatoes. What's up, Papa? You're a good boy. You're a good boy too, Sonny. Oh, here comes Junior. Oh my gosh, these dogs. They are just so awesome. Hey, hey, Junior. That's my boy. That's my boy. Don't you on me! Well, it has been a really, really good day today. It started out kind of like cloudy and damp and, you know, gloomy. And now the sun is out. And I've got things sprouting. I got a bunny that's still alive. And I made an egg tray today that was really awesome. Seriously. Um, the, the last couple egg trades that I've made, the customer has far exceeded what I expected and so it's that's pretty awesome pretty awesome so um, yeah the next the next egg trade that I made with this one particular customer they're gonna get a free 18 count anyhow um so I wanted to let you know about what's gonna go on with the puppies I have contacted a rescue organization and um, they are like a series of foster homes that take dogs in until they can find homes for them so um, I'm seriously considering doing that with the puppies I contacted them yesterday and I haven't sent them the email with all the information yet just because I'm still I still just want to make absolutely 100% sure that I want to give these puppies away and um, because I want to make sure they go to good homes. I love these puppies so much. They're delightful. They just are. Um, I, I, seriously, if there was any other way I could figure out a way to keep these puppies, I would. But I don't think there is any way that I can keep these puppies. So, anyhow, um, it's been a good day. And uh, Papa's doing great. Uh, the chickens are doing great. They're, I let them out to free range because Patsy, it's always Patsy. She gets out. I don't know how she does it. I've looked all around and I have no idea how she's getting out. So I let the rest of them out free range for a couple of hours. And uh, then they'll come back in and uh, go up into the coop. Anyhow, um... I love the sunshine. That's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video.
thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.